Hello, this is Irfan Zardat Khan from Javelin Technologies. Uh, today I'll be introducing you to the new material database that is available for SOLIDWORKS 2014 simulation professional or higher. So the way it is, you have the standard SOLIDWORKS material. So let me try to apply a material to this part. So we have a list of standard SOLIDWORKS materials that I can use here. Now let's say the material was not there, uh, the new version of SOLIDWORKS, well, SOLIDWORKS 2014 allows you to actually add more materials. So what you will do is you will first click that link that appears on the material selection web page. When you click that, your web page will actually be directed to the materiality website. So that's the database that is being used to uh, add those additional materials. Now you can select the study type for selecting a specific type of material. You can select various material models based on the material on the study type. Uh, you can specify uh, if the materials should support maybe thermal loading or let's say a factor of safety. In this case I will just go and get metals and I can then choose a specific class of metals so this time I'll pick steel and once I have made my selection I can choose from various databases within uh, the materiality website I hit locate my search results will be returned uh, once I have found the closest material I can click that and that will bring me to the material window for the material model at this point I can start to download my material. So let me download this but before I download this material I'll go back to my SOLIDWORKS window here. What I need to know is where is my custom so under my options I can specify under file locations where are my material databases stored. So the file that I download has to go to one of these pages. So it can go to SOLIDWORKS materials, it can go to one of these that I have just created. Okay. So let's go back to the, the browser window now. And what I will do is I will hit download and I will be presented with the same option where that data needs to go. Choose to download and by default it will take me to the custom materials location so it's this is the materiality a 10 18 grade 3 uh, 30 steel let me download that this is the dot sld mat which is a solidworks material um, did, uh, database file so let's go back to my components and i'll try to apply material so now not under my standard materials but under my materiality materials or actually let's go to the next one so it will create a folder for each one of those I will actually see that there is that steel and the 1080 steel with all its property is download and it is available for me to apply to my component uh, just a note this is available only for simulation professional and higher and for SOLIDWORKS versions 2014 and higher. Thank you.